Hello students, in this video lecture I am going to discuss a hash diagram in three dimensions. Now in this video I am basically going to take an example, a particular example in which the hash diagram comes in three dimensions or in 3D. Now uh, what we do is uh, that uh, uh, this is the PO set P that I take to start the example uh, and uh, this PO set has hash diagram this which you can see on the screen. Then uh, there is another PO set Q whose hash diagram is same as that of uh, P which is this. It's like a V which means that uh, both P and Q have uh, three vertices uh, and they are related by the relation uh, which has been shown on the screen. So both of them are same. Now what we do is we try to draw the hash diagram for P cross Q which is the product of P and Q and you know that P cross Q is nothing but it is the set of all ordered pairs X, Y where X belongs to P and Y belongs to Q. So P cross Q has elements uh, which are uh, same as uh, the elements which you have in Cartesian product of P and Q. And how is the relation less than equal to or the partial order relation defined on P cross Q? Uh, we have discussed this in the previous uh, video lectures. The uh, partial order relation less than equal to on P cross Q is defined as uh, if you pick up any two ordered pairs x1, y1 and uh, let's say another ordered pair x2, y2 in P cross Q, then they, these two ordered pairs will be related in P cross Q. If uh, x1 is related to x2 in P and uh, y1 is related to y2 in Q. So, uh, by this uh, uh, relation, the relation which is defined like this, uh, P cross Q, which is the Cartesian product of P and Q, comes out to be uh, a PO set. Now, uh, we have again, although we have discussed this, uh, how to uh, draw the hash diagram for P cross Q, but for this particular uh, example, I am just going to illustrate uh, how the diagram can be drawn. So, what you do is the first step, the first step is that you take P. So, this is the P, this is P, which is in the form of V. So uh, we take P first. Now you can just see I have uh, this is uh, a, a branch from my neighborhood park, and uh, this is in the form of uh, V, which is like uh, the PO set P. And now what you have to do is the next step is that uh, you have to at every vertex of P. These are the three vertices: one, two. I'm making the vertices red. At every vertex of P, you have to place a copy of Q, and Q is this. Q is this this is your Q this again the Q is same as uh, P the only thing is that I am drawing uh, Q a little small and V P has been drawn a little big in size so this is the big V the big uh, V denotes P and the small V denotes Q although both of them are same but there is no rule as to how big your hash diagram should be or how small it should be so this big one is my P and uh, this small one this small one you can see this is my Q and what you have to do is you have to place this uh, Q uh, this this Q at every vertex of P so I will place one Q over here and I will place one Q over here and I will place uh, one Q over here so I'll place copy of Q at these three vertices please don't mind this particular uh, extension which is coming out it's it's not it's just for the whole it's just for holding uh, the set P uh, so this is Q this is Q and this is Q so once you are done with that so this is uh, what you will get this is the this is this is the Q which you have placed this is another Q which you have placed and this is another Q that you have placed and now uh, once you have done that uh, and now once uh, this has been done so this is the uh, final structure uh, that you get uh, this is the big V which denotes the P and uh, this these small V's are the Q's and these are copies of Q this is a copy of Q this is a copy of Q and this is a copy of Q and they have been placed at the three vertices of P so this is a three dimensional structure that you are getting you can just see and now what is the next step now the next step is that uh, you have to just uh, uh, join the corresponding vertices which means that you have to do something like this uh, the corresponding vertices have to be joined this uh, vertex has to be uh, joined to this and uh, then this vertex has to be joined to this so which means that uh, you can just see that this has to be joined to this 
and this has to be joined to this which you can do that in the put this particular model you can join them by a thread or by a string and again uh, what you have to do uh, the back vertices the back corresponding vertices have to be joined which means this has to be joined to this and this has to be joined to this so this again the back vertices which means that uh, this one has to be joined to this and this has to be joined to this so this is a three dimensional structure uh, that you will get uh, this is something uh, you will obtain in the end uh, the, you can see that the, that the red line which uh, we have got the the red line the red line is uh, denoting the uh, line which joins the corresponding vertices in this side on one side and the blue line uh, which uh, is the, uh, seen in the diagram that joins the corresponding vertices at the other side so uh, so i can use a string something like this uh, to get the final uh, structure some some string or some uh, thread can be used to get the final structure and uh, this is what you will get in the end so this is the final structure that you will get after joining the corresponding vertices on one side by a string so this is these vertices on one side have been joined by a yellow string the vertices on the other side the corresponding vertices have been joined by a red string so this is a three dimensional structure which you can see so just see and uh, this was your V, the big V, which is the set P. These are copies of Q. And finally, the hash diagram which you are getting is uh, the hash diagram of P cross Q, which is a hash diagram in three dimensions. So sometimes the hash diagrams do come in three dimensions as it is happening in this case. So that was all about uh, what I had to discuss in this uh, video lecture.